the years of 20 and 30 years old, I was in either a prison cell or a treatment facility for eight and a half years. You know, I've been in rehab in like every corner of the state of Connecticut. When I physically got well, I'd go back into my old life, like where I'd be selling again and partying again and hanging with friends constantly. Yeah, 2018, we bought a couple of scratch offs and ended up hitting a $50,000 winner. I, I saw it as this is my answer. I had this vision. This is what I was going to do. This is my out. This is me doing life the way I wanted to. And uh, so I finally had like this disposable income that I thought I needed to be able to play poker professionally. I started going to the casino six or seven times a week, but still going to meetings and still like talking to people in the rooms, like pretending like everything was still good on the outside. So like a couple months into living this life that I thought I always wanted, I remember walking out one day calling my mother about like how discontent I was with life. So my mother's side of the family has an annual Christmas party where all my family gets together. And 2018 was like the first time I was gonna be going and I had like gifts for people and I was feeling good about myself. I was clean at this time. I did a couple last minute shopping and I drove through where I used to use and I picked up again. Um, and you know, I was four hours late. I, I didn't bring the gifts I said I was bringing. People were asking where I was. I drove away there and I felt terrible. Uh, from there, I started using again every day for three weeks. I had one month left. And, you know, I've been on parole or probation since I was 18 years old. I kind of knew how to, you know, manipulate the system and kind of get myself out of trouble while still being in trouble. And I had called my probation officer. I had let him know that I had used and I was gonna check myself into treatment. I was driving to a treatment facility that I'd been to in the past a couple times and my probation officer didn't want me going there. He told me to turn my car around and we'll try to look for better options. And I had a friend, Tammy Jo, she's a therapist at High Wash. Uh, she called me back the next day and I could come here for 21 days. I came up here with the one purpose, to get off probation and then leave. And the atmosphere was different. The staff here, I felt like they cared. Like I had a real doctor, I had a real therapist, which I hadn't had at prior facilities I've been to. Uh, you know, I started diving into the work that they were giving me. And it, it took me a while to really feel like they didn't have any alternative motives. And these people were being a caring, compassionate, and loving. And they just wanted me to get well. At the point, I was about nine or 10 months in. And uh, you know, I was at a good spot doing the work in the program. And I finally found a point like where I was, I had hope for life. Like my life was gonna get better. I remember like talking to my mother, it was like a completely opposite conversations and like I didn't know what was coming next and I was explaining to her that like you know I'm gonna be all right and I believed it and she believed it. Today now I'm doing things that like I, I never thought I would be doing. Um, currently full-time in college. I mean the overall hope is one day to get into law school and get people to actual treatment. High Watch has given me hope.